What is up everyone? My name is Zesty Mike and today we're gonna to be talking about how to do YouTube full-time. So after I graduated college I spent a few weeks and put together an idea on how I could potentially do this. My friend and I met up and we got an apartment together and began doing YouTube full-time. We didn't have any money, we didn't have any other jobs, all we had was a dream to actually one day do YouTube full-time. So if you guys are passionate about and have a talent, I'm sure you guys can too. So the key to this is outsourcing your work. You can't rely solely on YouTube ad revenue to pay your rent and bills. So let's say you're a gamer but you're also a really good editor. You can design some really cool intros for your videos and then sell these intros to other YouTubers. You can put them into a template and then the one intro you made can keep on generating money for you for as long as you want to actually keep it for sale. Now if you create a new intro for each video or for each series or for anything like this, that means that there's more potential money in your pocket. If you create music for your videos, you can sell your music royalty free on all types of sites. And if you're a really good filmmaker and you do sketch work, you can sell those really awesome shots that you like of landscape or opening shots or different stuff like this as stock footage. So the goal of this is make your videos so they earn more than just the ad revenue that it accumulates. Check out sites like Fiverr.com or Pond5 where you can actually sell your work and try to figure out what you're good at and what you can sell so that way you can make more money for each video. Now another awesome way to make more money is by sponsored videos. Now we're not asking you to sell yourself or be a sellout or make your channel solely around other people's products. What I'm saying is if you have a client that wants their product spotlighted, do it in a tasteful fashion. If you make sketch comedy, keep your sketches how you would do them. Keep the same energy, keep the same characters, do all the stuff that you normally would, but incorporate that product in there. So by creating YouTube videos, selling my work on Fiverr, and doing sponsored videos, I've been able to stay full time on YouTube for the past seven months. Now I wouldn't recommend doing a leap of faith and just hopping into it like I did. What I'd suggest is get a part time job. Start doing this and start building your business plan until you find something that works for you. And then once you're comfortable and feel like it's doing good enough, then you can switch full time to YouTube and continue building what you've been putting together. Anyways guys, that's it for today's video, but first I want to thank the Freedom Family for your support. Not only on the show, but with our personal channels. With your guys' help, we've been growing at an awesome rate, and things have been going really, really well for us lately, and I appreciate each and every one of you that have stopped by, said hello, watched a video, subscribed, liked, all that stuff. It's been helping us so much, and we're very, very thankful. <laughs> but anyways guys, I'm not going to get all sappy on you, I just want to say thank you and hope to see more of you. <laughs> so anyways guys, hope you all were able to take something away from this, hope you all learned something, and I hope to continue teaching you guys in future episodes. Comment down below, ask me what you'd like to learn next week, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya. What is up everyone, I'm Zesty Mike. Last week we talked to you about how to get your videos to show up in the search results. Well this week we're gonna talk to you about how to get them to stay there. For I uh, that's a MySpace angle. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one. How do you got? Yeah, I love that one.